Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble back with another recipe planning Thursday for you. If you're new to my channel, I do put these out every Thursday and um, I do all sorts of other videos as well. So check it out and please be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today's recipe is for Jamaican jerk wings and I'm continuing with like this party theme since Super Bowl Sunday's coming up. It's really good for a crowd. So I'm just gonna take this out. Oh, and this is my Happy Planner recipe organizer. Um, I will put a link in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing one. I'm just doing one recipe a week so that it's not overwhelming and then eventually, I hope I will have all my recipes in here, at least 52 of them by the end of the year, and then my kids will have something, you know, when I pass it on, like to them, it'll be just a nice keepsake. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write the name of the recipe at the top of the page and this does not have to be perfect. I don't get fancy with this, just regular old printing is fine or you can get fancy if you want but I just find that um, it's easy to read if I just do it really simply. And I thought what I would do for this page. I wanted to print out a picture of the wings and I tried but there's something wrong with my printer right now it's not um, it's not like talking to my phone or my computer and I can't figure out why or what to do so instead I thought I would just make it like an island themed spread with some islandy stickers and it actually is really nice for winter because it's cold now and it's just fun to do like summery things when it's cold. So I just white I whited out, whited, is that a word? I just did that, um, took off of that because I'm gonna put some palm trees up here. So this is the new travel sticker book from the Happy Planner. They carry this in Michaels and they also just started carrying it on the happyplanner.com website so you can get this if you'd like and um, I do have a flip through of all the new books if you're interested. It is under the flip through playlist. Okay, so let's just start and put like a palm tree here, right? Because it's, you know, Jamaican. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is probably, probably wipe this out. In fact, I don't really know what else I'm going to do. So, so I think I'll wipe this out and then put down some washi tape. And at the bottom of the page, actually I do know a little bit. So at the bottom of the page, I'm gonna put some of these kind of things. So maybe some kind of bright colored washi. And now that I'm just thinking of it, I do have some really bright washi books from the Happy Planner. They're like sticker washi books and these are super fun and like the colors are really really bright compared to their regular stickers I feel like so why don't I just choose let me just look at the colors of these leaves and stuff so why don't I just choose some kind of bright color and go with it right how about green no I don't want that maybe like a bright pink would be good I'll try this one and just see how it goes. I don't know. It's a little dark. It looks a little, well, no, it's actually cute. So I'm gonna put this down here like so. It actually looks like water. I don't know why you'd want pink water, but <laughs> that's kind of gross. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's cute, so I'm gonna leave it. Just cut that off right there and then maybe all the way to the end. I don't know, I might change that. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on to this baby because I might use it in a different part of the spread or of the page, I should say. Okay, so I have this recipe over here. I had already printed it out a while ago, so I am just gonna go ahead and write down the ingredients with some fun bullet points. I will look and see what I can find and then you know, maybe I'll take these little guys. It's not really gonna match, but that's actually really cute. Like little sunscreen bottles. i kind of do that. Hmm. Let me see if they would fit. I 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably not gonna fit. So let me see what else I can find and then I'll be right back. Okay, I found this. I have a couple of these and I never ever look at them. They're like little stickers by me and my big ideas. They're not Happy Planner, they're like um, scrapbooking things, I guess. And I saw these pineapples, and I know that they won't really fit either like these, but I thought maybe since I have six ingredients, I could do three and three. So I'm gonna try that because I think these are super cute and kind of um, are like the right theme. So let me see what I can come up with. Okay, that actually looks pretty cute. I think it's kind of islandy and I like it. So we're gonna go with that. Next, um, I am going to, I guess, white out the preparation. And then, let's see. Sorry, I'm just thinking my way through this, you guys. Right along with you. Um, I saw this. Those are actually cute, but they don't really match those ones. Um, I saw this like sticker book that's super bright. And I thought that would be, I don't know. This, these just seem really, really bright and I wanted bright colors, but I'm not really seeing anything in here unless I use this maybe in the corner or something. Um, let's see. I could use this let's go to the beach please sticker since it's like beachy. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wipe this out and put washi tape across again. It's kind of been what I've been doing with these recipe pages. I don't know why, it just kind of separates the stuff and makes sense to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe a thicker washi than that one. Let's look back in that book again see what we can find. How about this one? Let me just look at these colors though. So if I'm gonna use these, uh, it really doesn't match it that well. This one probably matches it better, although it's not as fun because it's not scallopy. I also have my Doodle Bug Design Scallop Washi, which you guys know I love to use in recipe planning videos and Pages, and actually that works really well. And I think that will coordinate, let me see. I mean, it's okay. It's a little bit bright. I think that'll do. So I'm gonna take this across the page right here. I'm gonna bring this like so, cut it there. And then I'll take it all the way across, just like the one on the top, and cut it there. Okay. Now I'm going to write my recipe steps down, and I'll use some sort of bullet points. Probably not more pineapples, but maybe maybe these little flowers. I don't love this color with that though at all. Let me see if I can. Pull in that other washi tape book. Okay, let me just see if it will look better with this color. Because that just look that looks good with the pineapple. It does not look good with that flower, you guys. I don't think so at all. That's a lot better. So I'm going to take off this washi tape. Pulled off some of the white out, so I'm just gonna put that back on there. Now I'm going to take this and try this instead, and we'll see how it looks. I don't know. Not crazy about the way it like looks, but it's not bad. Let's go with it and see how I like it at the end. Okay, put this back. And now I'm going to write my steps. Okay. 
Okay, so now I did that and when I was putting those down, I did not like the flowers. As you can see, I pulled them up and then I was looking in the tiny sticker book. I hardly ever remember to use this one and um, it helped. So I found these palm trees and that is perfect, right? So I'm just looking through this to see what else I'm missing in this book because I haven't looked in this in so long. Um, I just don't think to reach for it, but I should. Okay. So anyway, I am going to now take some of these, I think. Let me see. Take some of these big leaves and put them in the, on the bottom. I'm not sure I'm going to like it, though. Maybe if I brought it up the side as well. I hate that this side is tan. That's the only thing I don't like about this book. I wish this was white because it's much easier to decorate when it's white. You, when you put clear stickers on tan, they just don't look as good. I also had that take me to the beach please thing. I don't even know where I got this. I think this I bought this for like $4.99 or something. It was like a, a, while, a long time ago. I've never used any of these, but I do have this one. Let me see if I can use this. I'm going to put this down right here. Now I am going to try some of these in the sidebar here and if, if they look good I'll bring some down here as well. So I found this little pineapple sticker that's bigger than those, but it matches those in the pink student sticker book. And I thought I would just kind of put it down here, maybe straight, just to bring in the, um, the yellow at the bottom of the page, because you always kind of want to balance out the color. It doesn't have to be so totally balanced that it's symmetrical, but um, if you don't balance it, it looks kind of odd, at least in my mind. So if I have yellow at the top, I'd like some yellow at the bottom. Not sure I like that. Actually, maybe I will angle it. It's a little too straight up and down. Let me try angling that a little bit. I'll keep it off the page. That's better, I think. Let's see how that looks. I hope it looks good because I only have one of these stickers and I don't want to waste it, but that looks pretty good. Okay, so... The only thing left to do, I'll fill out this section. I hate this section. There's really no point in my mind, but I'll fill it out anyway since it's here. Main ingredient is chicken. Serves. I'm not even going to put that. It serves a ton of people. Difficulty. I. It's really not that hard, but you do have to blend some things. So I'll say three. A three. And... Prep time, I don't know. I never know the prep time unless it comes from a, like an actual recipe, but these are all family recipes, so. Um, cook time, two to three hours. And temperature is 300 degrees. I do want to cover that purple because I don't like the purple there um, because it just doesn't match the rest of the spread, so. I saw something, I think it was in this one. Let me see. Oh, this thing. I thought maybe I could use this. Let's see what that would look like. That'll probably do. Just gonna trim around this. One more thing is I'm just going to write pause recipe because it's my kid's grandfather's recipe, not my dad, but my ex-husband's father. And 
I actually should have put that here, but that's okay. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so that's it for this recipe planning video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I struggled a little bit, but I think in the end it turned out really cute and I'm happy with it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned every Thursday for recipe videos and check me out on Instagram at planningwithbumble. Have a great week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.